All right, here we have a model of the muscles of the leg. And here you can see the iliac crest up here. So this is going to be the hip. And then here's our knee. And then down here off frame is his foot. This is the lateral part. So here you can see a little bit of the, of the gluteus maximus. And then here's going to be the medial. And we're going to do all the muscles of the thigh. We're going to have to remove some parts as well just so we can see some deeper muscles. So our first muscle we're going to look at is this muscle here. This forms a little bit of the anterior, a little slightly laterally located of the upper thigh, again attached up here to the anterior superior iliac spine, one of, a part of the, of the hip. And this is called the tensor fasciae lati muscle, the tensor fasci fasciae lati muscle. And it attaches to this connective tissue right here, and this is called the iliotibial tract, which goes again from the ilium down towards the, towards the tibia, that medial bone here of the leg. So here's the iliotibial tract, sometimes abbreviated IT band, and a lot of athletes will sometimes have tight IT bands, and that's what they're referring to really is called the iliotibial tract. So again, here's that tensor fasciae lati muscle. And then we're just going to work our way from lateral to medial across the front of the thigh. Here you can see the quadriceps, so the quads or the quadriceps. Quadriceps is going to tell us that we're going to have four. And then we're going to use this muscle here that crosses from the anterior superior iliac spine from the hip, crosses medially towards the knee. This is called the sartorius muscle. And you can see that the sartorius muscle and the tensor fasciae lati muscles actually form a nice frame for the quadriceps. So our quadriceps from lateral to medial, superficial, we can see the vastus lateralis. So vastus says it's a big muscle, lateralis tells us it's laterally located. Running right down the midline, straight up and down, is, called a, is a muscle called the rectus femoris. Rectus, again, tells us that it goes straight up and down, telling us its orientation. And femoris tells us it's along the femur, the thigh bone. So the rectus femoris. And then over here we can see the vastus medialis, the vastus medialis. Vastus because it's large, medialis because it's medially located. So the superficial muscles of the quadriceps that we can see here are the vastus lateralis, the rectus femoris, and the vastus medialis. In order to see the fourth part of the quadriceps, we have to remove the rectus femoris. Here, so we have our rectus femoris removed. And what we can see here is, is we see this, what looks like connective tissue, but it's actually connective tissue, fascia of a muscle, and that muscle is called the vastus intermedius, the vastus intermedius. So this is not, not actually the femur, this is a muscle that sits on top of the femur. And interestingly enough, the model is reflected as covered in its connective tissue because in the body, it's covered in this, in this connective tissue and it's very hard to dissect out so we don't usually do so. So it almost always appears gray covered in its connective tissue even when we look at it in, the, in a human body rather than on the mu muscles or the models. So again, so with our rectus femoris removed, you can see the vastus lateralis, the vastus intermedius, and then the vastus medialis. And again, formed by a nice frame between the sartorius muscle and the tensor fasciae lati muscle. I'm going to move so we can see the medial view here. So here's anterior. So now we're looking basically at the inner thigh muscles here. Again, to orient ourselves, we have our sartorius muscle crossing over from the hip, from the ilium, crossing over towards the knee. Here's our vastus medialis. The first muscle, and actually one of the major muscles that helps flex the thigh and deflex the trunk, basically bend at the hip, is this muscle that doesn't look all that impressive here because the majority of it is actually up in the pelvic cavity. But this is called the iliopsoas muscle, the iliopsoas muscle, right? And it's actually a muscle that forms a large part of the interior pelvis that helps flex the thigh. So the iliopsoas muscle. You can actually see this yellow, red, and blue. This is the femoral vein, the femoral artery, and the femoral, uh, I'm sorry, the femoral nerve, femoral artery, femoral vein. So you can see that coming through from the, from the pelvic cavity. And then here we have the adductor, right? We're going to look at two of, the, um, two of the three adductor groups. This is called the adductor longus. 
and it's a superficial muscle, there would be an adductor brevis, it would be deep to this, we can't see it in the model. So here's the adductor longus. And you can actually see the adductor magnus as well. We're gonna look at it from the posterior view too. Here you can see the adductor magnus and it actually crosses over even underneath the sartorius muscle. So here you can see the adductor magnus. Muscle that adducts the thigh, magnus tells us it's big. So adductor longus and adductor magnus. And then this muscle that runs pretty much from the medial, uh, the medial thigh, the medial hip, all the way down the medial part of our thigh. This is called the gracilis muscle, the gracilis muscle. So that's our most medial of our thigh muscles, our gracilis muscle. And I'm just gonna continue our tour of the muscle going towards a posterior view. Again, we can see the gracilis muscle here and the adductor magnus muscle. And then we can pick up part of our gluteus maximus muscle the butt muscle, the gluteus maximus muscle. And then in the back part of our thigh, we have the hamstring muscles, the hamstring muscles here. So the hamstring muscles are divided into two major parts. Here we have the biceps femoris, the biceps femoris. It's the more laterally located one, the biceps femoris. And then here we actually have two muscles, this is called the semi-membranose, or I'm sorry, the semi-tendinosis is the superficial one. And then the other one of our hamstring muscles here, you can see it here and also here, is called the semi-membranosis. So these muscles form the hamstring muscles and the hamstrings are the back of the thigh. They're so named because they actually, if you go and have a ham for Easter, this is the muscle that you're actually eating of the pig, are the hamstring muscles. So looking at it from medial to lateral, again, you have the gracilis muscle, the adductor magnus muscle. The superficial muscle medially located is called the semi-tendinosis. And deep to that is the semi-membranosis. And then more laterally located here, we have the biceps femoris. And then here we have the gluteus maximus. If we remove the, the gluteus maximus muscle, you can see the attachment sites of the hamstrings, the hamstring muscles coming up and attaching to that, to the uh, ischial tuberosity of, the, of our hip bone. So attaching to the, to the part of the coxa. So you can see that there. And then I'm just gonna continue around and now we're looking at a lateral view all right, and we've removed the gluteus, the gluteus maximus here. There are two other gluteus muscles. There's a gluteus uh, medius and a gluteus minimus. You can actually see the gluteus medius here. And then again, coming back around towards the front, you see that tensor fasciae lati muscle and that iliotibial tract.